Hey fish freaks. So I'm uh, starting a video here uh, on some tips and tricks or at least to show a planting or two um, because I uh, do have the intention of eventually doing a, a you know an aquascape from scratch uh, but uh, until the time I'm ready to break this tank down um, I'm basically gonna just use some of the space I got in here to make some changes add some plants um, nothing special I think if I was gonna redo an aquascape I'd probably lay it out uh, better and have some specific species in mind but today I just went made it over to the LFS and grabbed some new just whatever they had that interested me so let's uh, let's go see what I got so uh, out of these uh, plastic cases with the hydrogel that they've got um, I selected a, a wisteria plant don't know which type of wisteria it is but uh, that's what you get when you go to an LFS usually right and then from their aquatic tank uh, uh, plant tank uh, they gave me some uh, rotala and uh, I got myself a cryptocorn species so I will be kind of going through the motions of uh, how how I'm going to plant these and I'm very open to any kind of uh, constructive please criticism uh, and if I'm doing something that I could do better I am really lit, eager to hear from you uh, but uh, yeah in the next uh, segments I'm gonna show you what I do uh, maybe you pick up something along the way and uh, for those that have never done this before maybe it just says hey well it's easy but okay that's how you do it um, I scratched my head at first even though it wasn't that big a deal so all right, uh, we'll see. Okay, so let's start with the uh, wisteria here that comes in one of these cylinder packs. Uh, it comes in with these instructions on the on the packaging, and the first thing tripped me up the first time I ever did this, and that was remove the tape from the top of plant container. Well, when I read that, I thought they meant the tape that was sealing this, so I struggled to get that off. The it's always uh, well sealed. And by the time I got it off, uh, it didn't seem like uh, I could go to the next step. Uh, what I didn't realize was that it was a different thing, and I've kind of uh, already gotten this open from the bottom. What they're talking about is the tape on this container. So something to keep in mind there, uh, so you're not frustrated. So I find it was easier just to get cut off the bottom of the plastic tube here, and this slides right out in your hands, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that tape away and then follow the following directions this plant will just come right out of that little container and then after that you want to wash all this uh, um, um, hydrophilic gel um, off the roots and I'll show you uh, the result of that uh, in a second. Alright so here's what I got and uh, this will just be tossed in the garbage but all this uh, um, gel beads here can be rinsed off and this should be uh, ready to plant what I'll do is um, I will trim some of this a little bit uh, and I that's a two-handed exercise so I'm gonna do it off camera but I'll trim it a lot uh, just a little bit just the tips of these uh, roots a little bit so that we can kind of uh, start some spur on some new growth uh, and it breaks apart into some separate stems so I can uh, you know, see how they you know, plant them a little bit spaced out. Uh, we'll see how it, how it fares uh, in the water. But uh, I'll rinse these up uh, in the sink here and then set it aside in a bowl ready to be uh, planted. Okay, so the next uh, plant here is my cryptocorn. And I believe this is a cryptocorn parva, a tiny cryptocorn, tiny crypt. Uh, just based on the leaves and my research uh, in plant encyclopedia. Um, anyways, but uh, it came in a pot. Now I have pot, um, planted the pots directly into a substrate before. Again, uh, uh, not something that I would do uh, again um, as I've learned more. This thing pulls uh, pulls right out of the uh, pot, which I'll, I will do. It'll require a couple hands. And then this rock wool here um, is separable. So I believe uh, a lot of this is bunched up in many different bunches. And so you separate that out, but you do plant it in the rock wool typically. 
Um, and uh, so I'll get that, rinse it off, inspect it for any kind of uh, snails or any critters, um, and uh, get, the, get rid of those, um, and then get that ready for planting. Okay, so um, as you can see, nothing ever uh, goes exactly to plan. When I uh, work to separate this, um, the thing broke in half, the, the rock wool did, and a bunch fell out, just, just straight fell out. Uh, not what I was anticipating, but uh, this is a good opportunity actually. I'm going to take this section here and plant it in the rock, rock wool and see how it uh, grows. And I'm going to plant these plantlets um, nearby, uh, but without the rock wool. And I'm going to just kind of see uh, the difference see uh, how they perform and uh, whether one grows better than the other. Um, I suspect that because these are small uh, the rock wool also serves to anchor it somewhat so uh, I'll have to be careful as I work in the substrate that uh, they can be planted but uh, they, they're healthy um, and they're ready to be planted so uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Alright so this uh, is the Rotala and again, not sure exactly which species it is, uh, but uh, it it is uh, sold in a slightly different format. They just uh, basically have the plantings and uh, trimmed uh, to the store, and then they plant them in their own little uh, planting cells where they uh, start developing their own roots from the stock. So uh, the individual stalks can be uh, separated here and planted as singles uh, or any way you'd like. Uh, and so uh, I, because they're fresh plantings, uh, fresh clippings or whatever, and they, it doesn't really help to trim the roots at this point as they're just getting started. So uh, they're basically plant ready. Um, so I'm going to rinse them off, uh, and inspect it for any kind of critters and uh, get them ready for planting as well. Okay, and there I have it. Um, little, And I got a little bit of a bonus. So it, within the uh, Rotala bunch here was another species of plant that, uh, that got grabbed in the by the uh, clerk in this fish store and uh, ended up in the bundle that he sold me. So uh, I guess the question for everybody is, uh, what species is this? Uh, I, I don't know what it is. I'll have to start looking around. Um, but uh, it looks healthy, so I'm going to plant it, see what happens. Uh, no, no harm in doing that. It's a little bonus for the money. Um, so we're all ready here for planting. I'm going to split this up into two videos. Uh, so this is going to conclude part one, and we'll do the planting uh, and stuff in a short part two.